She didn't look up, didn't want to meet his gaze. The master's face was blurring into a satisfied smile, as it had already happened. The young girl picked up the coat, but did not dare to leave, and suddenly she would get angry. If the master likes the maid, it's not too good, but if she displeases him, it will be much more difficult. In 1884, serfdom in Russia had long been abolished. The servants in the houses worked for a salary, but the supply always exceeded the demand. Even the richest families have reduced the staff of servants, it's one thing to keep three workers, another, those who are on the payroll. Gone are the days when more than 300 domestic workers worked in the Razumovsky house at the same time. After the liberation of the serfs, the Princess Kropotkin had three coachmen, two cooks, the same number of nannies and tutors, as well as a housekeeper and two maids. It was most difficult for girls and young women to find work. The number of female specialties at the end of the 19th century was still very modest. And they needed skills. Not everyone could go to work as a teacher or governess, and secretarial positions were just being put into use. Therefore, there were always more female servants on the lookout than male ones. Accordingly, they tried to hold on to the place they received. They often paid like this, they calculated how much money went to the servants' table, how much to the corner after all, the workers lived in the house, and summed it up. A male footman was more expensive, so they mostly tried to recruit women. In Vladimir Makovsky's painting in the anteroom, the master's coat is held by a girl, although 30 years earlier a footman would have coped with this function. A young lady who had just arrived in the city, without recommendations and work experience, could count on a maximum of 4 rubles per month. The cook asked for at least 12. But the owners absolutely everywhere wanted to save money, so by the end of the 19th century, an employee in the house was doing not just one job, but three or four at once. The maid cleaned in the morning, then helped in the kitchen, and could also take the children out for a walk if the nanny was ill. And sew buttons to the hostess's dress. A craftswoman of all trades. Things were somewhat different if the master liked the maid. There could have been gifts, and an increase in salary, and a freer work schedule, the girl in Vladimir Makovsky's painting is embarrassed for good reason, an elderly man in a hat clearly favors her. And the maid doesn't know where to put her eyes. The girl does not look like a coquette at all, and her modesty does not seem deliberate. There is also a hidden fear, what is the right thing to do? If the master shows attention, and she behaves abruptly, will this not entail dismissal? And on the other hand, how to compromise your own principles. Yes, serfdom was abolished, and the owner could no longer demand sympathy from the maid. But, in fact, in such situations, girls simply did not have a chance to act on their own choice. Who has absolutely no doubts in this picture is the owner. He is calm, satisfied, his life position is very clear, this person feels right to perform any actions. Besides, he knows that the poor maid has absolutely nowhere to go. And even if you have to calculate the girl, there will always be another one. Vladimir Makovsky created a brilliant picture. He revealed to the layman a side of life that many did not pay attention to at that time. Every day, every day, sometimes passes us by, as they say, the eye is blurred. And it was customary to talk about the servants of that time in a completely different way, dishonest and sluggish people. Privy Councillor A.V. Nikitenko is one of the serfs himself. That s what he said in the letter. Nothing, neither kindness, nor decent wages can attract a servant to do what she has to do according to the condition. But Makovsky showed the life of the servants from a completely different side. And he made his contemporaries think. The picture in the anteroom was discussed for a long time and applauded by the author for his honesty. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your support is very much needed. Ashamed. Ah!